Hello, colors, and welcome back to Viva Balsa. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with manager Xavi Hernandez, who in a recent interview talks about Lewandowski, Dembele, Gavi, Pedri, Araujo, De Jong, Kunde, and transfers. We are going to be discussing on what Xavi said in those topics as we progress. Then secondly, talking on this transfer news, claiming that manager Xavi is still in contact with Sofian Amrabat from Fiorentina, who remains to be a strong target. So guys, as we get right into the stories in more detail, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Speaking in an interview on Movie Star Plus, Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez made it clear that he wants to sign two new midfielders as an absolute priority for the summer transfer window. The fourth theory all stressed that the Blaugrana are in need of a creative interior midfielder and a pivot player to replace captain Sergio Busquets. He said, I need two signings in midfield. I lack an interior. And with Busquets' departure, we also need a pivot. This has to be the priority, Xavi said. During the course of the interview, Xavi touched on several of his players and highlighted qualities about them that made them special. Speaking about Robert Lewandowski, who won the La Liga Pichichi trophy in his debut season, the Barca coach said, He has been the great leader this season. He is very happy here. We are talking about a world-class player. Robert has given us instant leadership. He is an absolute winner. There have been talks about Ronald Arahogo talking over one of the captaincy roles for next season following the exit of Yori Alba and Busquets. Back in the Uruguayan to become the club's keeper, Xavi said, sooner or later, he is going to be captain of Barca. He is a natural leader. Just before the end of the season, there was a lot of chatter surrounding Jules Koundé and his reluctance to continue playing at right back. Commenting on the matter, Xavi made it clear that he did not sign the Frenchman to use him as fullback, but circumstances were like that. He said, I didn't sign Koundé to play him as right back, but it was an emergency and he has done very well there. But it's clear that we are missing a right back, the manager stated. Barca are blessed with the finest core of central midfielders in the form of Gavi, Pedri and Frankie de Jong, three players who are set to dominate world football for years to come. Xavi spoke about each of the three players individually and was full of praise while also marking out areas of improvement. On Gavi, Xavi said, He puts passion into everything. When I see him run on the pitch, I get goosebumps because of how he competes. He's wonderful. He's good with both feet and he has a brutal personality. On the young, the manager said, he is our most chaotic player within the other. He has some impressive virtues. He is a huge player. We have found the ideal position for him. He only needs the final pass to demo. And speaking about Pedri, Xavi exclaimed, he does everything right. I see him even more similar to Iniesta than to me. I didn't have the speed that he has. I want him to participate more. He now has an average of 70 or 80 passes and I want, to, I want him to go to 100 or 110 from him. When Pedri was the bo has the ball, my heart rate drops. Finally, there was also talk about Usman Dembele, who is reportedly close to signing a new contract until 2027. Xavi spoke highly of the Frenchman, but insisted that he needed to become more consistent. He said, he can be a 10 or a 2, and the goal is for him to be more and more a 10 than a 2. He, he knows more about football than anyone. His potential is enormous. When a fullback faces Usman, he sees a guy with a gun. Wow, what a statement from Xavi. Finally, talking about the team's failure in Europe this season, manager Xavi claimed that Barca do not belong in the UEFA Europa League and they must always play and aspire to win the Champions League, he said. I already told the players that we can never play the Europa League again. I'm sorry, but Barcelona are not made to play the Europa League. It does not motivate the players nor the fan base. We have to play the Champions League. 
and we have to aspire to win it. Great words there from our manager, Xavi. Of course, talking about his players, analyzing the players, and of course, his view on the season that just passed and what he aspires from the team in the seasons to come. Of course, Xavi is putting his utmost best to see that he leaves a mark being the manager of Barcelona. It's not easy. This is a club that comes with a lot of pressure from the media, especially from the fan base. A lot of pressure. And Xavi should know that more than anyone. And of course, it's not easy to be on that seat, coaching a big club like Barca that currently were not even at our best. Even though Xavi helped us to win La Liga, despite not being at our best and still trying to do a transition, it's such a marvelous thing. Hoping that Xavi improves next season, player transfer should also be improved because it has really been something that honestly, um, it, it is good because this season we won La Liga. Nobody was expecting it with the players, but I think La Laporta and Xavi are doing a good job so far. Then on to the next story of discussion with Barcelona on the lookout for a new pivot midfielder to replace captain Sergio Busquets, Sofiane Amrabat of Fiorentina is one of the players that have been heavily linked with the move to the Catalan outfit. The 26-year-old was very close to joining Barca during the January transfer window itself, but Fiorentina ended up blocking the operation. Since then, there have been other names such as Martin Zubimendi and Joshua Kimmich who are said to be bigger priorities for Barca. And reports have suggested that Amrabat signing will be considered only if the club fail in their pursuit for the other target. But that is, it may, journalist Ashraf Ben Ayad is reporting that Barca manager Xavi Hernandez is still in contact with Amrabat. Why the update does not specify the nature of the contact, one would assume that it has to do with a possible transfer in the summer window. Amrabat, whose current market value stands around 25 million euros, is still said to be keen on a transfer to Barca. His brother, Nordin Amrabat, revealed as much in an interview when he said he wants to go to a top club and his desire is to play in Spain. At Barcelona, he is high on the list, but you know, Barca's financial situation. Barca, given that his contract with Fiorentina expires in 2024, Amrabat will likely be available for a bargain this summer and would be a much more feasible option for the Catalans in comparison to Zubimendi or Kimmich, who are expected to cost 60 million or upwards. With Xavi still in contact with the Moroccan, it bodes well for Barcelona in case they decide to go after his signing with great, greater favor in the coming weeks. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.